I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Sterling and Carlissa react to Blueface being sentenced to four years in prison. Okay. So we didn't get the verdict that we wanted today. So don't think that God didn't show up because he did. Jonathan spoke. I spoke. Everybody felt love in the room. It was peace in the room. Um, I could hear Jonathan spoke for himself. He talked to the judge. He took full accountability. Um, he did what he was raised to do, tell the truth. And, and that's what he did do. Some people might call it crazy or silly, but he, he said, I, I told the truth, I took accountability, and he's still standing on his truth and his accountability. So for that, I'm grateful to get my son back. I talked to Jonathan, we heard Jonathan, and I'm grateful. Yes, and poor Javon said we prayed, and God didn't let him out, but I'm teaching Javon how, how it works. Just because God gives you what you want, you still don't get to get away with your consequences. He, that means he's going to be with you on your journey for your consequences. Mm -hmm. But you still have to pay your consequences. So I believe that he feels like Jonathan needs a couple more minutes for him to talk to him. And we have to be, you know, patient and allow that to happen. But we definitely heard Jonathan today, not Blueface. And I was grateful for that. So free Jonathan and free Blueface. But. For right now, Jonathan took accountability in front of his son. He took accountability. He showed his son the right way. He showed his son to be honest and respectful, even when you don't want to. Because I'm pretty sure he was upset about the verdict, but he he was a great example for his son today. That, and that I'm grateful for. He held, he held his head high and he accepted his consequences. And he taught his son to be truthful and honest at all times, no matter what the consequences are. And I'm grateful for that. So don't think that your prayers didn't work because they definitely worked. Because we saw Jonathan today. I think everybody saw Jonathan today. I told the judge, I said, everybody in this courtroom been knowing him since eighth grade, seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in here been knowing and we see Jonathan today. So she let me speak, she let Jonathan speak. And we can we can look forward to I don't know how the months work, but I'm I'm listening to y'all, so I know y'all know how it works. But I'm So yeah, we can't we can't blame anybody right now. We just have to hope that that everybody gets into their places after this. Seventh grade, yes, he has some seventh grade friends in there. Bravo been knowing him. I don't know how long. My husband was there, y'all. My husband was there. I tried to get him some house arrest so my husband can debo him. Be sure to like, share, Wack and said subscribe. nine to ten months. Wack know how it worked. He was trying to tell us, but me and Jaden was over there freaking out, so we couldn't really understand. But Jonathan sounded good and in good spirits. So, you know, I know my dad didn't want the grandbabies in the courtroom. But John, Javon learned to be a stand-up, upright young man and tell the truth. He watched his dad take accountability for his mistakes, and he learned from that. So I think everybody's parenting decisions are at their own discretion. Because I don't think Jonathan wanted his son to miss what he gave him today. He fed his son today. Right, babe? He fed his son today 
told it right in front of his son. He told the judge, I, t I tell the truth. I stunned on the truth. And that's what it is. So. Your baby is going to be okay. Thank you for all the prayers because it's definitely, definitely, we definitely felt them. Yeah, Javon is a little hurt, but he gonna be all right. We gonna get him together this weekend. He, he a little hurt, but he gonna be all right. He's strong. He don't really understand what's going on, but I can tell you, he stood there listening to his dad talk and he learned a lot. This is about Blue, not about the women, right? This is just about Blue. This was Blue's day today. And, and he stood up like a man and he handled his business today. And I, for that, I'm grateful. You know, because as a mom, you think, oh, Lord, this maybe this is going to break him. Or, you know, you could tell he was tired. You could tell he was a little tired. But hopefully, yes, by the time he get home, he can stand up and take care of all the babies. I, I, I asked the judge to let him come home on house arrest so he can take care of the kids. And I lock him in the back room with all the kids. But she, she felt like he needed some more time by himself. happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Yes, when you have a son, it hit different. Girl, my, my husband had to tell me he wasn't no baby. I almost forgot. Because it's, it, they don't realize how hard it is for you to leave and not be able to leave with them. They don't. They don't realize that. Thank you for all the prayers. I really appreciate it, and I've seen them all. And we prayed in the lobby. We all held hands and prayed in a huge, big circle. All his friends and his kids. a plan learning that myself we have Ooh, to remain what? faithful what they probably hungry babe we i'm still trying to figure out how the numbers work but they said like she said four years so i don't know how much of that is left but from what they calculated it's like less than a year Just love all the children. He'll be back. He'll be okay. I wanted to cry when I heard. Yes, God is awesome. I know it's it's it's, it's kind of hard to explain to the kids when you pray, and then it doesn't. Javon's first <coughs> his first comment was, "We prayed, and she didn't let him come out." But now we have to teach him how prayer works. It's, it's not always immediate. I mean, he gotta he gotta test you and get you together first, and then. But he gonna be with you the whole time. Praying for you and your family. Thank you. His release date will be online public records.
tried to get him to let Mr. Sappho um, put him in the back room, but she wasn't going for it. People need to stop blaming. Yeah, don't blame nobody. Let's just let's just move forward and try to forget all about that and, and start new. Were you able to hug him? No. Be blessed. I did want to hop on here because I do see all y'all DMs and prayers and say thank you. Because I'm I'm grateful to y'all. today because I, I I broke down in there a little bit today. I, I, I admit nobody wouldn't have probably been able to get me together but him and I know I can't act a fool in front of him so I ain't trying to get snatched up. So I did good, right babe? Did I do good? So um Everything is uh, will be videoed so y'all can go watch it on Six Odd. What little bit we did were able to get, or what little bit we got, how we handle it before and after. Um, what was Jaden's reaction? Um, she was still sitting on the bench crying, so she took it really hard. And I, I mean, I tried to comfort her as much as I could, but she took it really hard. And she, we, she was sitting on the bench when we all left in front of the courthouse. So. There was a reason everybody was there today. God knew John needed that support. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he needed to see us functioning as a family and you know, not all separated and torn apart. And that, I, I believe that, believe that definitely gave him strength. I believe that he's, he's definitely stood on business today. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, and I told the judge we take full accountability and I understand and we understood and respected her position. And Jonathan got up and basically said the same thing um, and took full accountability. Yeah, she gave him the whole four years. I thought that was a little harsh time for served, time served. eight months at a time, right? I feel so bad for Jane and Javon and Journey. You as well. Javon needs his dad. Yeah, he, he'll get to see his dad a lot more now. I love that I'm teaching my daughter to be honest, truthful, and take accountability. I mean, if you want God to go with you and you sincere in your heart, I think he did. I think he did the right thing, and he definitely showed Javon the right thing. Get some gas. Are you hungry? So. Wait. So how long do he gotta do? Um, they 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 doing the, the 
the other people know how to work the numbers, so I'm waiting for them to put it on the internet because they about to show us how the numbers is working. Wack tried to show me, but I didn't quite understand it so fast, and I probably wasn't all the way there. But I'm gonna get some gas, okay? What did Blue do for this time? Um, he had. They said he had um, CBD cannabis without the part that gets you in the sale. Somebody said Carlissa it's nine to ten months. Miss Jackie 848 said nine to ten months. Probation violation. Wax said eight to nine months. Was Callie there? Callie did not have a sitter this morning and it, they didn't let the babies come in that might make noise and you know Callie got a young baby so but she called and she was there with us in spirit and she definitely prayed. Yes. You want to call her? Okay, hold on. That's what Wax said. My husband said 10 months. He will be out in the middle of next year. I know y'all trying to butter me up. That but that seemed like a long time to me. It is a long time. It's a long time? Mm -hmm. It ain't that long. Yeah, it is. They said, did you get to see Carter? I'm about to. You about to? He said he about to. My uncle has gotten time similar. I pray he focus on his family and business and stay away from all the clout. We love y'all. Love y'all too. Oh God, I love you. He's with y'all. Um, Javon, I thought that was Carter this whole time. God is working. You got Javon. Oh, happy for your grandbaby. Yes, we're going to try to have a great weekend this weekend. We're going to try to have the best weekend ever, y'all. Yes, Carter's going to have the best birthday ever tomorrow. Best birthday party ever tomorrow. All right, we got to go, guys, but thank y'all again for the prayers. We love y'all. We appreciate all the support. If you're a Six Op member, it's only because of y'all. We all try to do the right thing today, and we on, we on a new path, on a new journey. Right, Journey? <laughs> We on a new path and a new journey. Praise God. We on a new path and a new journey. On a new journey. On a new journey. You like that? And we're going to have the best weekend ever. His kids was at court today. So we're right now, we're just pointing it out to him. What happened, how it happened, what he learned today. So we can't keep his kids out of it because they was at court today. They was there for everything. They seen us all crying. So they understand. And they're excited to know that that his that his dad will be home before his next birthday. 
God don't make no mistakes. Won't he do it? Before I get off of here, I need everybody to say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? A praying mother. All right, I got to get some food. I love y'all. See y'all in a little bit. Say bye. Say bye, Journey. Say bye. Say happy weekend. Say bye. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.